Okay, uh, I'm honored to introduce the Unity project we are doing uh, in African countries and Asian countries and also uh, Latin American countries. Uh, can you turn off the light? Okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll go with the uh, Unity and program and three flex and recognitions. Uh, as you know, higher education institutions here and there, uh, they are doing several activities, but uh, they are doing uh, some works and corporations in uh, international development uh, in the area of the research and the assessment and policy consulting and also project implementations in higher education sectors. And here are some examples of the supporting schemes for higher education institutions. And in the United States, USAID, they have the Higher Education Solutions Network. United States, DFID. And in Korea, uh, leading university for international corporations. You know, we, our school, suggested these uh, the budget uh, plan and it was accepted. So many uh, Korean universities are working in Asia and Africa and here the Unity in project. Okay? As you may know, the Unity in comes out of the university tuning and networking. It was established in 1992 uh, at the General Conference and there are 52 networks uh, in 21 countries. Uh, the main objective is uh, building university uh, networks and encourage inter-university cooperation through the transfer of knowledge across the border, research, training, and program development in UNESCO's field of competence. And this is the MOU signing ceremony 2007 uh, with our former uh, president and also the secretary general of the UNESCO at the uh, uh, party office. <coughs> Handong Global University it was designated as a unity and host university for capacity building of sustainable development in developing countries. We do especially do training in research and documentation of activities in the field of the sustainable development in particular training in global leadership in the area of business, information technology and law. And we also uh, develop exchange MBA programs, establishing long-term cooperation among partner universities for global leadership in business management, information technology and law. Currently we are learning joint education programs with uh, Yohan University in Mongolia, uh, Uzbekistan, uh, Myanmar, Cambodia and Nepal. Okay? And this is how we are working. Handong Global University, we make a planning, a plan and implementations. Uh, we report to the Minister of Education and we also report to the uh, UNESCO directly. And we uh, have collaboration with the universities in developed countries, for example, uh, Taylor University in the United States and the Open University in Netherlands. Uh, they have, uh, we, we had the joint programs, uh, joint activities in Kenya and Thailand. And we have also collaborations with NGOs, several NGOs in African countries, in Asian countries. <clears throat> this is uh, our uh, main activities. Global Entrepreneurship Training, Holistic Community Development Program, and Startup Incubating and Development Program, Urban Development, OCW OER Initiative, and Joint Education Programs. Just before I explain about uh, this program, uh, we are learning, uh, say, joint uh, education program at the level of the MBA. We teach uh, six credit hours or nine credit hours, sometimes 12 credit hours at uh, universities in those nations. Uh, and what you are doing in your country is the startup incubating and development program. 
she and uh, Professor Abe which did in the last summer uh, to do this, you know, uh, we have sometimes four or five professors all together with about 10 or 20 students uh, sent to uh, your country and Uganda to and also for other project uh, global entrepreneurship training we had a uh, one week training program uh, in Peru this summer and after that we had a three day program for juniors and we had a three days program for the government officials in Peru for the global entrepreneurship training we send again four or five professors about 15 to 20 students to uh, nations uh, we have done that uh, entrepreneurship training uh, four times in uh, Peru four times in Kenya three times in, in Ghana once in uh, Ethiopia twice in Zimbabwe uh, three times in Laos again three times in Cambodia twice in Vietnam, once in uh, Mongolia. So we send the delegations. And also, and also sec second one is the Holistic Community Development Program. We have done that uh, program in uh, Mongolia, uh, Nepal, and Cambodia. Again, we send uh, uh, five or six professors all together with uh, several students uh, regularly in summer and winter sometimes in spring, sometimes in fall, okay? So, uh, before you go, sorry, is there any requirements that uh, we, as a country, recipient country, are supposed to do to get this uh, joint activity? Because I see four times in Kenya, four times in Peru, <coughs> six times in there, but Tanzania has not been mentioned. <laughs> I'm like, oh. We need strong ambitions and the willingness to work with us. That we are lucky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Urban Ouch. development. Yeah, yeah. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to start uh, doing something. Yes. Yeah, I have the, uh, I brought some official document there. Yeah? Yes. And then urban development uh, in developing countries. As you know, uh, many uh, big cities in developing countries, they have the air pollution problem, water pollution, and thirst and noises. Uh, we have activities in Nepal, Vietnam, and Mongolia. The leader of that uh, program was former, uh, say, uh, high-ranking officials in the Los Angeles city in the United States. Mm -hmm. He and uh, uh, other professors, uh, four or five professors are visiting uh, those nations with uh, 10 to 20 students every summer, every winter mm -hmm. in, in semester two. We would like to uh, have more, uh, say, planned uh, urban, uh, say, systems so that they can have a better uh, air, better water, uh, other sewage systems like that. And OCWOEL, we would like to initiate that in order to encourage the professors in developing countries to upgrade their lecture note. And we invite them to send their lecture note, one semester long lecture note, to us. Then we will fund them uh, 600 US dollars for one semester, uh, three credit hour long lecture note in electoral files. Say, if you are teaching, say, uh, you are economist, say, macroeconomics, one semester, we fund 600 US dollar. But if you add the video files, one semester long, then we fund you 1,500 US dollar for one uh, three, three credit hour course, okay? We are already have uh, about 400 lecture note, notes from, uh, say, Ethiopia, Luanda, Kenya, and other countries uh, in uh, Asia and uh, Africa. So by, we ask them to uh, open up their le lecture note. So professors will pay more time and effort to upgrade their no lecture note. And the benefit will directly go to the professor himself or herself and also to student in the classroom. They can 
uh, watch the video before the class, they can watch the video after the class. Okay? And also, scholars and experts in other countries, they can access the lecture note and then enjoy the benefit of the quality uh, uh, study or lecture note. Okay? Joint education program, as I already explained to you. Three focal ideas in Handan project, entrepreneurship and social innovations and leadership. And we are addressing uh, those goals in the sustainable development goals. I think quality education and decent work, we try to do those to create the jobs in developing countries, uh, industrial development, and peace and partnerships. Okay. And in entrepreneurship, we do entrepreneurship education and training. And we would like to initiate the change of their mindset. Okay. Creating new industry, creating new jobs or new business. Entrepreneurship it will bring about the economic and social uh, development. Okay. Global entrepreneurship training, uh, those are some items, uh, lectures and group work and business idea presentation competitions and entrepreneurial mindset, law, accounting and marketing. And we may invite some of your best students if they pass, say, business idea pre presentation competitions. Okay? We do that. We do that from Uzbekistan, Mongolia, and Nepal, and Cambodia, and Vietnam, okay? With some amount of the price to them, uh, money, monetary price. Okay. Okay. And start of incubating and development pro uh, project. Uh, we are doing this in uh, Uganda and Tanzania and Malawi. Previously, we have done this in Chad, but because of the continuous terror by the Boko Haram, we pulled out of the mm. chart. Mm -hmm. No longer we do that <laughs> in chart. But in the future, we would like to revisit yeah. the chart again. Okay. Entrepreneurship training in Kenya, startup incubating development program in Uganda, 2016-2018. As I explained, we have done that Kenya, Ghana, Ethiopia, Uganda, Tanzania, Zimbabwe, Mongolia, Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, Peru, and Tanzania this, this summer. Yeah. <laughs> this summer. That's yeah, we, we'll, now I'm happy. we'll add Tanzania <laughs> over there. <laughs> Only just what I said, that to all of those here in Zimbabwe, to all of the volunteers who help, uh, to the professors, that, that you can do it, that you can accomplish your dreams, that you can imagine the world to be a better place, and then to work to bring that to pass. Yes. You can get the clean water. Yeah, we uh, would like to do some research so that uh, we, without big amount of the expense or cost, we can uh, give them uh, clean water yeah. and also and uh, charcoals out of the um, some materials uh, in abundant in uh, in the nature. Okay, there's a startup incubating and develop program. We have done this in Chad and Uganda. The, okay. And social innovations. Small medium enterprise and NGO startup. Uh, you know, in Nepal, we taught to the MBA students to find up, identify the problems in Nepal. And many of them made the creative uh, ideas what to do, what to start a, a business. And here are some uh, examples. 
joint Asia program with higher education institutions, Cambodia, Mongolia, Myanmar, Nepal, and Uzbekistan, customized the MBA in graduate school program, social innovation, utilization of ICT, startup promotion. And I would like to uh, explain about Let's Food, ensure the employment of 12 victims of the human trafficking to catering service. You know, in Hindu uh, culture, uh, if a lady or a girl were kidnapped and they became the victims of the sex slaves, then they may not return to their family, to their village. If they return to their family or village, they stone at her and kill her. So they cannot return to their village or their so, family. So cruel. Yeah, mm -hmm. so cruel. <clears throat> and, I, and I explained, okay, we have done in Cambodia and Uzbekistan, the joint education program. Um, we are considering expanding to Papua New Guinea and Rwanda. Mm -hmm. We visit uh, those two countries this summer. I have document there. Okay. And I explained that we have the social innovation idea and venture business plan competitions. We have done education in Cambodia, Mongolia, Myanmar, Nepal, and Thailand, Vietnam several years. We have the competition in the local competition in those nations. Number one team, three of them gathered at the Chiang Mai, Thailand, and they had the final competition among six countries. Okay. Uh, former minister uh, or official from the UNESCO, they also watched the, uh, the business plan competition. Okay. They became the judge and gave them scores. Okay. And this is the This is the number one team among six. Nepal team. Very strong team there. Yeah. Mm. And UNESCO Unity and OCW Real Initiative. Being an entrepreneur and being a social innovator uh, will form into, I think, a leader in the nations, a leader, a leading a driver of social change, a pioneer of creative collaborations, a connector of people, ideas, and resources. And entrepreneurial leadership lectures in Unity in Project and the focus in training leadership, holistic community development program, startup incubation and development. And we are doing this in uh, Korea, 
Mongolia, Nepal, Thailand, Cambodia, and Uzbekistan. They are middle-rank uh, leaders of the business in Uzbekistan at the MBA level. Yeah, this is the the victims of sex slave in Nepal. teach them to find out the social problems in Nepal, they may develop, say, business in ICT or the electronics, they may develop some business in medical science, but they chose this to help uh, the victims of the yeah, sex trafficking. Yeah, yeah. I could see that. Yeah. Really yeah. Painful to see. It's a heartbreaking, heartbreaking works, I think. Yeah. And if we can get um, uh, institutions or universities like yours uh, spreading the good word, uh, right. helping out, handing out, helping hand, yeah. very important. We plan to present these uh, activities to the United Nations or the World Bank. That would be okay. wonderful, for sure. And this is some comment from the officials uh, from the UNESCO. And those two officials, mm. former United Nations. Uh, He's a friend of Tanzania's. Yeah. Our best friend. Yeah, we are going to build the Global Education Institute up over the hill. Uh, it will open uh, in July next year. Ah. Yeah. Next so, summer. Yeah, next summer. Yeah. He's mentioned our school uh, and it's uh, six times in uh, conference and uh, forums mm. and there was, uh, that video was one example. Mm. And if you have the smartphone, mm. use the QR code here and then you can watch That's several cool. more videos. All those are in the YouTube. Okay, in the YouTube. Those are all the videos in the YouTube. We have already Write the name. Yeah. Yeah. UNESCO in and then, then you, you can see all of those uh, videos. Right. Right. There are more than 20, but here are about uh, 11 or 12. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have activities in Cambodia, uh, Nepal, and Myanmar, mm -hmm. uh, Uzbekistan, uh, Kenya, Chad, and Malawi, mm -hmm. and Peru, Kenya, and Thailand. Okay. Really, we would like to expand our cooperation with something. I know you have started already here and there, but we really need, need to do something. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Professor. Yeah. Yeah. My pleasure. Yes.